Hi, I'm Nina Kravitz and this is Zeist. Right, where the new warehouse venue you mean then? How do you think it went? How was your set? Pardon me? How was your set tonight? Well, I don't know. You have to ask the crowd. I only know that I played and it was so loud that I hardly could hear you. Yeah, I'm sweating, so stuffy in the so many people. It was good. Yes, and I'm drinking half Coca-Cola, half Peter Lemon. So, we're in rainy Manchester now. Where's your favorite place been this summer? Favorite place to play? Mm. There, are, there are many places I really, really enjoyed this summer. I think I have a list of ten. That would be definitely open air spots and festivals, and also clubs. I will start from. And do you mean this kind of early? Autumn as well, or we only yeah. summer, summer, summer. Some years, like, okay, as I mean, last 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 week I've been to um, west coast of USA and Canada. I started with Vancouver, went to festival festival in Seattle, and I um, I was actually headed to San Francisco, and I played three gigs in a row. It was amazing, it was amazing. Every place I I entered was just. Great, the sound system, the crowds, the vibe, everything was just good. And the last um, gig I played during that uh, tour was in San Francisco, but it was actually outside of San Francisco. And uh, the event was so special. This was a so absolutely unexpectedly beautiful place in the middle of nowhere. Almost like Burning Man, with the deck of black like Burning Man, but just in the woods. So when the event was finished, I went outside you know, just to look around what was going on and I, I was so mesmerized and hypnotized by all the, 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 this ambient, amazing woods and then I saw like wild animals, real animals after the party and then I was like, God, what a great job I'm having. If I ever complain, please just like remind me about this moment because it was so beautiful. It was just like unreal beautiful. Deers, <laughs> rabbits. I, I just I even had um, um, filmed some videos because when I came back from that place, back to pack my records, it took me like one hour to hang around there because I was just so shocked. I was like, I saw real animals, <laughs> they're really, really, you know, are you sure? <laughs> you really saw wild animals? The wildest animals ever. They're standing in the full moon. Yeah, but that was all true. And I was not even drinking. Interesting. So, uh, number two would be Amazing Flow Festival in Finland. I really enjoyed that. Um, number three would be sake bar during enter parties uh, in Ibiza this season. I played um, a few gigs at Space Club and I really, really enjoyed it. And I guess with Space it worked that way that a smaller venue I got, the smaller room I got, the better kind of it worked for me. So sake worked just perfectly because Richie was perfect cast, the vibe was very friendly and all the sake and <laughs> so it was just amazing. So that, I think that was my first favorite gig of uh, the whole season at Space Club, which is actually about to be over this week, the closing party where I'm also playing. So number four, I think number four, It's number four, that's could be number five. <laughs> Alright, Ireland. I love Ireland. I love Ireland. This is optional. Every party you play there, it's like, um, it's like a celebration of life. As if it was the end of the world and the only one party you left. So, all the people are you know, dancing and enjoying the last day. They go crazy wild and just you know, enjoy it so, so much that you feel as if you were the best DJ in the world. Oh, of course, you have to be a good DJ, of course. <laughs> but really, sometimes they just go nuts. Really like, wow. It's amazing. I like this vibe, you know. Oh, 
beautiful. Of course, Italy. I love Italy. Italy is a very, very special place. I played for the party called Rebel Rebel. And that was immense. Also on the river. I really like open air places very much. You know, when there is something more than just a, a club, something more. Some special addition to, to the classic um, option. DJ, crowd, and the box. And I love it when there is some portion of fresh air. Oh! Mama Four goes to Melt Festival. Melt Festival was amazing this year. And I think I had a really, really good time first, and also I think I got a good set. And of course, number six goes, it's actually number one, but because I forgot about it, it's going to be number six. Number six goes to Summer Festival. I played at Techno Game at night, and I played one show during, I, mean, I was closing the Rebel uh, Academy stage in the evening. So it was like really special because it's not like it's happening every day that the one artist plays two times the same day, same festival, live and DJ. So it's like an exception and I really appreciate it. So the atmosphere is absolutely different. And, but you know, like to, to close this huge sonar, I think sonar club uh, hall, like this big, big, big venue. Like, like it's really, this room is immense. It's just really big. Like, Maybe if you ever ch uh, checked uh, Jack Mills' bells, like the live recording from Sony Festival when he dropped his bells, his, his big tune, and then the whole crowd went nuts. And it looks so great because Jack is so small and, you know, this just room is so big. That was the room where I played, and I was closing. So you remember, you, know, you can imagine how much the pressure was and kind of... Uh, yeah, it was five o'clock in the morning and I was closing. Oh my God, Sonar Dome. Sorry, Sonar Club. I think it's one of the most, um, one of the biggest stages ever possible. Number seven will go to Bulgaria, which is unex I like unexpected, unexpectedly good gigs. When you arrive in the room and you think, Oh my God, what's going to happen in five minutes? I, I don't know. Like, I just, like, when you think. It's just not for me. I'm calculating seconds when I finish. And then I even start playing, and it turns to be like the best party ever. So I was in Bulgaria. It was really, really special. It was absolutely unbelievably good. And um, in a space which was really not promising, honestly. Like, it's kind of like a cocktail bar on the beach. But. I thought nobody would be shit about my music here at all. And then I started playing one boy and they were like, oh, 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 you know. And I was just, wow, this is the 